Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and this channel brings you a variety of tech-related content. If this is your first time here, please remember to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at Unify's Topology View. All right, guys, so I'm logged into my Unify controller and I'm on the device page. And here's a list of the devices on my network. You can see I have two switches, a 16 port switch 150 and an eight port switch 150. I have three access points. I have two AP AC lights and one UAP AC Pro. And if you've watched some of my videos in the past or work in the Unify controller yourself, you should be familiar with this page to see that it gives you a list view with information about the devices on your network pertaining to IP address, the status, the model, the version of the firmware, the amount of time that the devices have been up. You could even restart the devices. And here it's even showing me that my switches have, there's an upgrade out there for my switches. So it does give you a lot of information, but the purpose of today's video is to go over topology view and topology view came out somewhere. Now I'm, I'm running version 5.6.22. Um, I think it came out about a year ago or so, somewhere in the 5.3 builds of the Unify controller. Um, so let's go over to the map view. And you have your typical map view, but if you click on the drop down arrow here with maps, you can see there's an option for topology. So let's select that. And right here, you can see you have a good visual representation of your network. So here's my 16 port switch and you can see that it's being uplinked to the eight port switch. Now connected to the eight port switch, it's showing you that I have uh, one of the APs upstairs in the frog room. Then here you can see I have the another AP, the AP Pro connected directly to the 16 port switch. And here I have another one near the front entrance of the home directly connected to the 16 port switch. Now, the neat thing about this is you can, um, collapse and expand parts of the network. But let's take a look and click on link labels and see what happens. So once you click on link labels, let me make that just a little bit bigger for you. You can see now that the uplink to the A port switch is a gigabit uplink and it's in port number one. I don't know if you can see that. I have a gig uplink to this AP and this AP is in port number five on the 16 port switch. So you kind of get the idea of what the link labels give you. And it, it could be pretty helpful uh, when troubleshooting your network. So now let me just shrink this down a little bit because that's your main overview of your network. But then if you click on show clients, you can see everything that's connected to your network, including all of your devices, your iPhones, your iPads, any media players that you may have, servers, et cetera. So what we have here, let me see if I can just come down here and zoom into this area here a little bit. And you can see now uplink to the access point upstairs. You can see these are the wireless clients that I have connected to that access point upstairs. If I take a look at what's connected directly to the eight port switch upstairs, you can see I have a couple of IP phones, my NAS, I have a lab router, my free PBX server, and you can see that they're all hardwired connections. And this is also real time. So if I wake up my Windows machine, it's asleep right now, um, you'll see that it will update and appear here. So let me just go over and do that real quick. Okay, um, while we're waiting for that to update, you can take a look here at the living room AP and you can see the wireless clients connected here, the wireless clients connected into the access point. And interestingly enough, let's, let's take a look at these clients that are connected directly to the 16 port switch. Now keep in mind, I don't have a USG plugged into this network. I'm running uh, an edge router X SFP uh, at the head end of my network. I also have an edge router, um, not an edge router, an edge switch 24 port light in the mix as well. So it's interesting that the edge router XSFP is showing up as a client on the 16 port switch because actually the edge router is feeding the edge 24 port switch, which is then feeding the 16 port switch, 
but I guess because these are Edgemax products and not U Unified products, they're showing up in this topology as clients rather than devices on the network here. Like I, if the USG was in this mix, it would appear here and then it would link out to the 16 port switch. So that's interesting. Um, let me come up here and see if the Windows Server um, did update. It hasn't. Hold on one second. All right, guys, there's the Windows 10 uh, desktop. It did appear. So you can see that the topology view updates in real time. If you click on any of the clients on the topology view, it brings up a window here and you could look at various information on that machine. But if you click over to configuration, here's where you can give the device an alias. So for example, if I just wanted to call this Windows 10 desktop, I would put the name in there and save. And you can see here now it updated from Windows 10 HP desktop to Windows 10 desktop. I think you can see that this is a pretty cool feature and it could probably help you troubleshoot issues on your network if they occur, especially with larger networks. I think a topology view like this would be very helpful. So I like what Unify's done here and I'm sure they're just gonna keep improving this feature. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick look at Unify's topology view. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other Unify videos. Please subscribe, like, and share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.